Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, we will quickly discuss one very important Java OOPS interview question that is why Java is not a purely object oriented language. Well, this question may be, you know, especially asked for a fresher in the Java interview. Alright, and if you are a fresher, then make sure that you have an answer for this question. Well, let's understand why Java is not a purely object oriented programming language in this video. Well, look at here, these are the seven qualities. Well, whenever we say a programming language is a purely object oriented programming language, then that programming language should satisfy these seven qualities. All right, the seven qualities like encapsulation or data hiding, inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, all the predefined data types or objects in that programming language, and the, all the user defined, you know, types or objects in that programming language, and all the operations or methods that perform the objects must be only through methods exposed at the objects. Well, these are the seven qualities the programming language should satisfy in order to, you know, call that programming language as a purely object oriented programming language. Well, let's compare these seven qualities with Java programming language and let's understand why Java is not a purely object oriented language. Well, you can see here among these seven qualities, the fifth one and seventh one. Well, in Java, we have eight primitive data types, right? Int, char, long, double, float, short, right? So these eight primitive data types are not objects in Java. Okay. And we can call these primitive data types without using objects in Java. All right. That's the reason. This is the first reason why Java is not a pure object oriented programming language. Okay. And seventh, you can see the quality. All operations performed on objects must be only through methods exposed at the objects. Well, in Java, we typically create a class and we define the instance variables and methods. And then we create an object of the class and then we call the instance variables and methods using object, right? But again, in a Java, you can see here we have static variables and static methods in java we can call static variables and static methods without using object right so that's the reason this is the second reason why java is not a object oriented programming language because a pure object oriented programming language you know should only access all the methods or variables through objects only okay but in java it is possible that we can access static variables and static methods without using objects all right great well let me demonstrate these reasons with an example so that you will understand better well here you can see we have a class within a class main method and within a main method i have declared and initialized these primitive data types like integer byte short long double plot boolean char so these are the eight primitive data types in java and these are not objects right and we can access these primitive data types directly okay we are not uh, using objects to access these primitive data types right that's the reason this is the first reason why java is not object oriented programming language well if i run this program it should work properly there we go this is the output of this program you might be wondering we have our wrapper classes in java right correspond to each primitive type so by using wrapper classes can we you know make java as a pure object oriented programming language well no we cannot you know use a wrapper classes to make a java as a pure object oriented programming language because wrapper classes under the hood uses primitive types only for example look at here this is a code snippet let me uncomment it and you can see integer is a wrapper class for int primitive data type and if you can see the description of this integer class over here integer class wraps a value of primitive type int in an object well this class wrapper class is just a wrapper on top of primitive type int okay then it does not replace the object it internally uses primitive type only for example if you calculate these two numbers then behind the scene java internally uses primitive type int to calculate these values okay so there is a concept like in java uh boxing and unboxing right so java internally uses you know primitive types to perform operation right it means that 
you cannot use wrapper class to make a java as a pure object oriented programming language because under the hood java uses primitive type to perform the operation on you know primitive data types all right so this is the first reason that is in java we have eight primitive data types and these are the not the objects okay so this is the first reason why java is not a pure object oriented programming language and second reason is we have a static variables and static methods in java right and we can access them using without object for instance we we'll look at here i have created one static variable message and i can access this static variable without using object so look at here this is the system dot out dot print ln and directly i am accessing static variable message without using any object and again you can see the static method and this static method i am going to access here without using object so it means that in java we can access static variables and static methods without using object so this is the second reason why java is not a pure object oriented programming language if i run this program it should work there we go all right so these are the two major reasons why java is not a fully object oriented programming language all right so in the interview in order to answer this question make sure that you will provide uh, this kind of explanation all right i hope you understood why java is not a fully object oriented programming language and i have demonstrated with an example so that uh, i believe that you understood why java is not a pure object oriented programming language all right great